Hello guys, welcome back to my Stone Shard Permadeath run. Welcome to episode 2. So we're going to continue from where we left off in the last episode. And I think we were introduced pretty full. So this, in the last episode, we killed this all these bandits and managed to get this take this camp. So we have got a stack full of loot. So I need to get back and try and sell some of these to get some golden. Um, I think the plan of today's episode is we're going to try and do level up a bit more. We'll probably do some more dungeon runs and see how we get on. So for now, what I need to do, so we've got a marker down, so let's just head back. Is there anything in that chest? I can't remember if I put anything in the chest. Yes, there's a homemade sword, but I can't carry it. That's fine. I don't need that. Right, let's go. Let's head back. We'll head back to town, get rid of all of these. All of this loot, get some more gold and see if we can buy some more armour maybe. A quick look at my hunger. Uh, 12, uh, 16, fair enough. We're in pretty good shape. Okay, so we're nearly there. And I think we're nearly at level three as well. So that's a lot, yeah. So I only need what, 16 more XP to get to level three. So that'll give me another ability. I'll probably go for another axe ability, maybe. Maybe one that with bleed damage, maybe. Have a quick look. So, two handed axes. Uh, yeah, so we have got this member, and that gives 100% 100 chance to start a bleed. I think that'll be pretty useful. I think we'll go for that next. Let's go and have a look, see if there's any food that we can steal. There's me eating my own then. What have we got here? I've got a barbary there. Right, let's eat you. That'll do. And... Oh, we've got some bread in there as well. We've got some goat cheese and we've got some dark ale. Hunger's at 15 at the minute. Let's eat. Let's just eat this stolen bread. There's me using my own bread then. Okay, right, so we're back. Let's. No, it's night time, they're all, um, all got me in the tavern, so I might have to sleep before they all come out. Be in the tavern. Oh, that, yeah, they're in the tavern. They're all having a good time in the tavern. So, can I sleep? I did buy a week. Let's go and have a look. A week passed. Get my door for a bit of privacy. And in here we have, okay, so I can take that bowl. Um, I get two gold for it. So I've got some mead though. I can sell that now. Yes, we can sleep. So let's sleep till, let's sleep till eight in the morning. And we are thirsty. I will need to refill my bucket as well. So I've got a drink. We're looking at food actually. So we've got some bread, yeah, we've got some pretzels, got an onion, yeah, we're not doing too bad. But we've got a little bit of uh, cabbage left. The market should be open now, so let's go and see what we can sell this loot for. Right, you there, Bert. 
Uh, have you got any rumours for me? Yes, Death Stinger Hive. Okay, we'll be steering clear of the Death Stinger Hive for now. Show me your goods, Bert. What you got for me? We have got a identification scroll. That could come in handy. I've got a sword in there, which I could use it on. Hmm. Let's sell these. Right, what can we sell the amber amulet for? Move resistance of fortitude. See, I think that could be good. Use the fortitude on it. But then also the Jawgrin's amulet gives me da minus six percent damage taken, which is pretty good as well. Uh, Jade figurine, hundred gold for that. Yes, we will sell you. Thank you very much. And what else can we sell? Take these. The smith. If there's anything else that I can sell? I could sell that. 132. But you know what? Let's just get rid of it. I will need to buy some bolts as well. Or arrows. Alright, let's go. Let's go talk to the smith. Uh, let's top my water up while I'm here. Quick drink. Alright, you there. G Jebar. Jebar. You got any rumours for me? No. Show me your goods. What have we got then? We've got a militia bill. Uh, pitchfork. No. Spiked war club. That looks pretty mean. How much is he going to give me for these? So battle cleaver will give me 17 gold for that. Yeah, we'll get rid of that. These will give me three. Hmm. I wonder if the carpenter will give me a bit more than that. Alright, let's go and have a quick look. Yerg. Got any rumours for me? Yes, hunting grounds, okay. Show me your goods, Yerg. What you got for me? Two handed mace, war club. I uh, could do with some bolts. 100 for 20. Yeah, right, let's buy them. And then... Oh, I've got 18. I missed that. Fair enough. Right, let's top them up. Keep the bolts on us anyway. And, yeah, 23 for a, a flail. 30 for that one. Get rid of all of these. And I think that's everything to sell at the moment. Let's go have a talk with the armourer, see if he's got anything new in stock. Hold, how's it going? No, don't tell me about your village. I don't want to know. Tell me some rumours, though. Has it got anything for me? So, what we got... See, I do like the uh, leave resistance on that. I might, I might need that, depending on... It depends on who I'm fighting, really. Um, got the Townsman Garment, Blue Resistance 5, Dodge Chance 3, I like this one, the gam Gamberson, 7 Protection, so we've got Physical Resistance 10, Crusher Resistance, Blue Resistance 15, um, but my energy does go down, and my energy restoration, I ain't got enough for that anyway. Warm Cloak, what that fussed about this one, the Hood. Oh, the novice cow. The physical resistance five, magic resistance. Uh, bat five chance minus five. Okay, magic power. I ain't got any magic, so there's no point using that one. The leather braces gives me physical resistance, blue resistance, and count chance and dodge chance. So they'll be better off. They'll be better than my leather gloves. So I could buy them. I think I might buy them to be fair. They're going to be better. 312 gold. So I'll let, you know, um, buy them for. So yeah, let's buy them. Let's sell these leather gloves for 18 and then we'll equip them. There we go. Looking good. Nice. Let's go. Just make sure I've got all the um, bandages. So I've got a couple of uh, leeches. I've got one leech, got a couple of bandages. Uh, we have got healing self. Probably do a couple more of them. 
Go speak to the herbalist. Frid. Anything interesting? Yes, there is an encampment nearby. Good to know. Yeah, so I think antitoxin, they're always handy. And herbal extract. They're always handy to have. But I've only got 62, so... I'll buy one of each. Oh, an antitoxin. Needs me 23. Yeah, I haven't got enough for that. I need five gold. Just let me have five gold for it. Unless I sell something to him. I'll sell him. I don't really want to sell him anything. Okay, that would do. At least I've got an antitoxin anyway, so. That could come, ha come in handy. So now let's check out where that encampment was. Where is it? It's over there. Oh, no, it's hunting grounds over there. We've got an encampment there, and then we've got an encampment down there. I think. Let's head down there. We'll go to that encampment, and then that should, should level up there. Okay, let's go for it. That's the plan. So what we need to do, let's reset my marker. Get rid of that one, place my marker down on the encampment. Let's go, let's head for it. Get that last bit of XP, get um, get into the ability. I think we're good to go. What else is lying around? Wormwood, grab some wormwood over here. We'll grab the wormwood. Hunger and thirst, hunger 10%. So I'm gonna grab some blueberries on the way as well. Let's grab some blueberries. Lovely. So this is the dungeon that was up before. Don't need to finish that dungeon, but we got some good loot out there. I did the right thing to uh, get out there when I did. We'll come back and finish it off once we get level up and get another ability. Burdock, I want you. Oh, this is auto travel, let's go for it. Oh, someone see me? We got a bandit here. On his own, no, there's two of them. So we've got a thug and a goon. Go for it. So let's use fucking shot for pulling towards us. There we go, nice. Time. There we go, nice, so we level up as well. So what I might do actually, if I... Yeah, let's use Warcry just to confuse him. I don't want to run away because he'll hit me in the back, unless he is confused, but I don't want to take that risk. So let's just go for it. He tried to patch himself up, but... So what did we get there? Pleasant flail, peasant, fla peasant flail, why can't I ever say that? And the spiked club. Our house. So let's quickly eat some of these blueberries. So I'll eat them all. There we go. Nice. 
And we did level up. So we've got another skill. I think what we'll do, we'll carry on going for strength. Um, just for the fact that if I get uh, reach level 15, this gives us extra buff. All right, let's go for strength on 13. And for the ability, I think I'm going to go for this one, Dismember. So this one delivers a strike with 73% body part damage and 10 crit chance um, with a minor immediate injury. If the target has no injuries, it delivers a strike to one of its limbs and 100% chance of bleed. That is beautiful. Nice. Let's learn that one. There we go. Let's carry on. Let's see how many more bandits. There might have just been them two in the uh, forest on their own. So. What are we doing? Um, left leg. A bit injured, but it should heal up. It's fine. Carry on. Oh, I've got an enemy there, but I can't see him. Where is he? Where are you? He's hiding. Ah, oh, there he is. On his own? No, there's two of them. That's fair enough. Come on, then. Well, I'm just going to use Warcry now. There we go, that should confuse him. Head to that one, let's pull him towards me. Up that one, and then we'll go for this member as well. Nice. There we go. Made a lot of work of them. So, uh, they didn't even injure me really. Left leg sort of healed up now anyway. It's also it took a little bit of damage, but we're all good. So what we've got there, we've got homemade sword and the pleasant flail. We want these. You can't get, really get money for them. I suppose it would do to start off with just to get a little bit of gold. Mm, it's head over there. <laughs> I love that animation when he chops that off. as well. Uh, map, where are we? So we've got, just got to go southwest. Oh, let's just drop, drop into here. And we've got another point of interest over there. We can go there afterwards. As we hit this camp, we'll clear out this camp. And then we'll go to see that other one. Grab some blueberries. Shit. Right, okay. I've been seen by the wolves, right? I need to get out of here. ASAP. Maybe if it's one wolf on their own, possibly. Could deal with it, but not a pack at all. Try and take it on. I don't want to risk it. Just for the fact that if it does get any good shots on me, that'll be it. Game over. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to continue to run away from it. Until it stops following me. There we 
They can't catch me anyway. Like that, but it is getting closer. Oh, you dash. Okay. I don't think he's gone. Right, it's just done me some damage though. Damage to my right hand. Right, let's try and confuse it. Let's use war cry. There we go. Oh, this should give me time to get out of the way. Healing up one running, that's fine. Oh, that was a close one, that was. Jeez. Back of wolves, how many was there? Three, four. You don't want to be take, taking that risk now, anyway. Where am I? Okay, I'm at the nameless tomb now. Fair enough, so we just discovered something. I could attempt this nameless tomb. We should go for it while I'm here. Might as well. Yeah, why not? Let's just go for it. Let's edit this nameless tomb and then I can continue uh, my way down to the encampment. I'll have a look in this place first. I do need a shovel as well, so I can start digging. Now we're looking. Hunger, 50, uh, 14, thirst, 15. Okay. There we go. Nice. So we've got 119 XP from that. And I think that's the center of it. We might as well. Let's go and see what's inside the nameless tomb. Uh, what's the okay? So this one is a bit harder as well. So let's just have a little um, ancient gas becomes alarmed. Where is he? I'll become alarmed once he hears me smashing things. Okay, he's down there. I've just seen him. Okay, he doesn't know I'm here. What we got here then? We have got a skeleton soldier. See, I think they're going to be pretty, uh, pretty tough as well. Oh, well I'll change my mind. Let's go back. I don't want to risk it. Just for the fact that ancient gas there as well. Yeah, they're going to risk it. To be honest, let's go. I still need to get a bit more, uh, a bit stronger. I think. Or we'll head into that one. I don't think I'm going to do that much damage against them. Well, let's play it safe on the safe side and we'll head back down to that encampment now. And hopefully we don't run into a pack of wolves. So it should just be straight south here it is. Right, let's just do the auto. Auto travel. Uh, my hunger's at 15. Let's eat some of these blueberries. So there is something around here. Gotta be. Oh no, this is where the encampment is, that's why. So uh, where is the encampment? That is the question. Good blue resistance as well. Nice. Oh, there's a hog somewhere. Where is it? Over there. Oh, let's stay away from you, piggy. 
Where's this encampment then? Oh shit, I've run into a pack of wolves again. Okay, it's fine. It's fine, it's all good. Down there, it hasn't spotted me. over there. Ah, oh, there we go. So found a bandit here. So where's his encampment though? Probably up here shortly. This is down there. Take care of him. Okay. First, how many people? He's just the one person coming over. That's fine. Yeah, I'm on then. We'll hook in shot. We'll do that and then we'll hit you with a dismember. Beautiful. What you got for me? A homemade sword. Might be down here because he did come from this direction, but I don't think it, no, it's not down there. So it's got to be, got to be at the top section. There we go. Hey, we've got a uh, buff optimism. Spot of our wolf. Is that the same wolf? That might be the same wolf that actually chased me, and he's on his own. Should I should I risk it? That's the question. Knows where this encampment is, so I don't really want to risk, risk it with this wolf because all it takes is a couple of. Uh... Oh, we've got two bandits there, and we've got another point of interest there. I need to find that encampment, which is really annoying. So, have these spotted me yet? No, they haven't. Right, I've got a wolf chasing me, and so, right, this could be perfect. So, the wolf will be preoccupied with them. There we go, they're going to help, nice. Let's just help me out a treat. So while we're doing that, we just... Ooh, what have we got here? Hmm. Can't skin it though. Haven't we got that skill yet. But while we're doing this, I can just run around while that wolf's being preoccupied, killing them bandits for me. And then we'll go and find this encampment. So that worked out all good. Quick drink and what's my hunger? It's got hunger's got to be pretty high, 19 in a minute. Here we go, there's the encampment. Oh, it's 119 XP for that. So what we got? We've got a bandit there. We've got two sitting down. Oh, they've spotted me. Get them over here. They haven't spotted me actually because I'm hiding behind that little bush. There you go, I'm in his line of sight now. Use War Cry. And we use Hooking Shot once he steps into that. If he steps in, there we go. So he's in it. Nice. Dismember. Oh, that's, this member's brutal. We've got that battle guy. Uh, got that. And um, we're just going to have to attack him. Let's go for it. Nice. Headshot. We've got a battle cleaver and a cudgel. How much would the cudgel sell for? Let's have a quick look. 19. And then um, the Spikes Club that will sell for 28. So it's not much, not much money in these. We'll lot see if they get any damage. Yeah, left hand took a little bit of damage, but we good. I do need to eat something though. Let's eat. A that's all.
think that's it. Has it cleared the camp? Yeah, I don't think there's any more. Something just ran off over there. That's the deer, it's fine. What we got then? Let's go check this barrel, see what we got. There's nothing in the barrel. And I can cook something, what have I cooked? An acorn. If you pick this, what we got then? Uh, Watchman crossbow. So is that any better than the one I've actually got? Uh, I've got a training crossbow at the minute. So it's, yes, yeah, so armor penetrations, higher body part damage is higher. Accuracy is better. Mobilization chance, but it does, the skill, uh, skills energy cost does cost a bit more. But it's definitely better, so we'll go for that. Let's get rid of that. Nice. We've got some gold, we'll take that. And we've also got a handful of amber. Nice, we'll take that as well. I think while we're here, let's quickly have a little rest. I'm not asleep till morning actually, so it's daytime. I think the next plan is, let's get rid of that one, so that one's done. There is a point of interest down there. And there, so I might just head south and go to this point of interest down there. Let's a marker for that. And we will sleep till the morning though. So let's sleep till, we'll have a nice early start. We'll sleep till seven in the morning. Okay, so it is a bit foggy. Hmm, we've got some lingo berries over there as well. And grab some of them. And I can't even. Might just stick some of these away actually for now. This is spike. Well, let's get rid of that spike club. I don't need that spike club. Crap. Um, we'll take the lingo berries. No, get out of my way. I want a lingo berry. There we go, nice. So, first 16. Let's quickly have a drink. These lingo berries. Let's head back down to this encampment now. Well, if it is an encampment, I don't know what it is yet. Point of interest. Let's go. We'll keep on the left side as well, just so we don't run into that wolf. They might have killed him, but I don't. I don't. Uh, I don't think so. Oh, you never know. We'll keep over this side anyway. Oh. Right, okay. Right. Get back up this way, I forgot about this wolf up there. And there is a boar up there as well, so let's stay out of the way of him. I'm on the edge of the map, so let's quickly go down here. He should be able to see me down this side. So, where are we? So, we're here. There's a point of interest. Let's go find out, see what it is. Oh, okay. Wolves. Go back up this direction. Oh, they're not following me. That's fine. Let's go around this way. So many wolves around here.
follow the path. Okay, so it's a caravan. Let's have a quick look, see what's in the cart. What have we got? Oh, we've got a short sword. Nice. Nice gold for that. We'll definitely take that. We've got a horseshoe. I'm not interested about that. Cold trunk. Oh, we've got an iron ingot though. Interesting. We could take that. So let's get rid of. Do we need to eat? Yes, I do. Let's eat the cabbage. Get rid of that. We'll take the iron ingot and um, we'll take some nails as well. Oh, we're pretty stacked out. Could do a backpack as well. If I do find a backpack, that'll be good. So now, I think, let's get rid of that marker on there. Set one on there. Let's head over to here. And then I think work our way back up. Sell this. Get some more gold in. And then probably head over this direction, I'd say. So I'm guessing that's where the first contract's going to be. Once I take it. There is a time limit on that as well, so that's why I haven't taken it yet. I wanted to uh, boost my skills up a little bit more. There is someone down there, though. Is that going to be... No. Yeah, it's going to be a deer. They're running pretty fast. It's going to be a deer. Not interested. If it was a bandit, I would have uh, <laughs> I would have stayed and fought. Well, let's auto-travel. Okay. Oh, right. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. Am I actually here? Oh, there is a hostile. No, I don't want to take that. So, yeah. This is the point of interest. Possibly a camp. Or it could be a hundred grand. Oh, my. <laughs> it literally ripped off his head. Okay. So, let's use... Fuse on that. Fuse the enemies and let's get the hell out of here. Might head back to town to be fair. I need to empty this um, inventory. So I think I've lost them. I think I gained some ground then. So I'm not going to bother with that now. Let's head back into. Um, I could move my way along here just to see if there is anything. So let's put a marker down there. Let's just fast travel to these. Or also travel even. It's not fast travel, is it? So we have got a point of interest there as well. well. Let's go check that out. Hopefully it's not a bunch of wolves again. Sick of the sight of wolves at the minute. There we go, let's find out what it is. Hopefully it's just a bandit camp. Yeah. It is. Some sort of ruins. Nice. So hopefully it's just bandits and not giant spiders. Oh, 119 XP for that. So how are we looking? So 500. Yeah. One third of a way to another level up. Yeah, nice. So there's a couple of bandits there. We've got a chest. We've got a resting place. Um, a couple of barrels. They spotted me yet? We'll do in a minute. Go. Okay, how many is there? Two. These will cry. In shot. Right. Step into my range. We go. Oh, no, it ain't in my range. Let's step back. Try and 
get my mech here. Ah. I'll get him up into, the, into this corridor here. Come on then, follow me. I know you're confused, but let's go for it. Fucking shot. You. And then we'll hit you with a dismember. Ooh. It just hit me. That is brutal. I love that. Dismember. Also got an homemade sword. How much damage did he do? No, not much to be fair. He did a bit on the torso, but I can live with that. And then I've just got to attack him. Not with any abilities, because that's pretty easy to kill. We go nice. So what we got? A pleasant a peasant flail and a homemade sword, so that's not gonna be any good. So is there any more? Got the end of the one surely. Can't it just be them two. I think it was to be fair. Okay, nice. So let's check out the barrel. What we got? A spool of thread that could be nice to sell. So let's get rid of um homemade sword. Let's put that in there. Let's take the spool of thread and let's go check out this chest. Oh, what have we got? 25 gold. Nice, we'll take it. And we have got a silver clasp. We'll definitely be taking that one. Nice. Okay, not the, not the best loot. Let's just have a little um, walk around the perimeter, make sure there's no other bandits lying around. And then we will uh, have a little rest in that bed. Yeah, I can't see anyone. Have a quick rest. Right, so where should we go now? I could head over this direction and then work my way up just to get rid of them. Get rid of my loot. An encampment over there. Um. Yeah, let's let's head down to this direction and see what's down there. Okay, so no points of interest there. And what we'll do, let's just head back up. What we'll do that for now? Let's head back up this way. At least I can get rid of my loot then, get some get a bit of gold in. We've got there, we've got some deers. Have a quick look at my quests as well. So what we got? Gather in the caravan, I need to talk to the hour yet, so he gives me my first contract, that's fine. Oh, and boys and pouts and horns, which I haven't come across, and bear pouts, which I haven't come across. I'm definitely not taking on a bear at the moment. And my reputation is pretty good at the minute. Um, we just found a couple of bandits. Nice. Take these boys out. I'm in between this log here. I'll use War Cry again just for the buff that it gives me a battle rage as well. And put a strike on you, and then we will chop your head off, boy. Oh! No, I've done damage to his armor. Well, we have got the bleed effect, and he's got medium planning injury, and he's got confusion. So let's finish him off. There we go. Uh, we've got a homemade sword. towards us. There we go. Oh, missed him. Piece of filth. Are you calling a piece of filth? Okay. Damage looking like. A bit of damage to my head, but okay. That'll heal up. We are a bit thirsty as well, so let's have a drink. Carry on up this way. We'll just follow the path up. Oh, no way. Absolutely not. Okay. Just on a battle bear pout then. Definitely not going anywhere near that bear. Got an abandoned art here as well. 
it looks like I've already been at this one. What we got? A bit of rope. Uh, should we take the rope? We'll leave the rope there, that's fine. And what else we've got? We've got some nails there and what's in the cart. Yeah, so this is where I did the uh, quest for the carpenter. I've been on this location already. Oh, we'll do. I want to keep that. Get rid of the wormwood and then I will use this on my head. Oh no, it's already healed, it's fine. We'll keep that anyway, just to uh, in case we do get do need a bit of healing. Oh, it must be nearly there now. Right, let's head back to camp. Oh, we've been interrupted by bandits. Come on then, bozos, let's go for it. Hit you with a bit of confusion, then we've got a bit of battle cry. Let's go hook you in, then we will dismember you. Brutal. One more. We want some more, let's go for it. Brutal. Should be able to hit him with a. Uh... Hold on. Bandage up, there we go, nice. What we got? Battle cleaver and a pleasant. Flail. Get damage to my saucer. Oh, it'll heal up. Let's carry on. Are we looking? 652 XP out of Made it back to camp. Let's go see the carpenter. He's about. Yeah, there he is. You, sir, a jerk. Jerk. Anything interesting? Nope. Show me goods. Uh, what should we get rid of? It's going to buy that for 15. Yeah, we'll take it. 16 for that one. And we'll go see the blacksmith for that. The spool of thread. We can go sell that to the armourer. The tailor, whatever he's called. Ah, my tailor, our same thing. Right, any rumours? No. Let's go see the uh, blacksmith, and then we'll go to the uh, market dude. Have a quick drink, top up more water. Oh, where is he? Ah, they've all gone. They've gone in. Okay, so we're going to have to sleep, so let's head into here. the door, a bit of privacy, and then I will take these out as well, we'll sell that mead. Sell that one as well, could identify that two-handed sword, and possibly sell it. Alright, let's go to sleep, uh, let's sleep till, no, we'll sleep till seven. Let's take the... Let's take the mead out, we'll take that out as well. Let's just sort this out so I can fit it in my inventory. There we go. We'll go and sell them. And anything in there, I think I looted that. Yeah, I looted that in the last last episode. How are we looking food wise? How's my bread doing? Spoiling three days, that's okay. Let's talk to the blacksmith anyway. Right, 
show me your goods, what you got for me. Uh, how much will you need? A short soil, only buy up 38 gold. Absolute robin bastard. We're going to do it, let's sell it. Homemade sword, four, that's fine. And spool of thread, 25. Let's see what the market guy gives us for that. Tell you what, actually, let's go see the uh, tailor. He'll give me more money for that spool of thread. You there, hold. Show me your goods. Right, spool of thread, 32 for that. Yeah, I'll take that. Thank you very much. Um, should I keep the mead? Mm. Already got two on me, so I might sell another one. Um, oh, we have got silver class, but I need to sell as well, and some nails, or oh, the iron ingot as well. Thirty-five. He'll buy that for. Well, let's go. Let's speak to the blacksmith. He should give me more for that. Nails, it'll give me two for it. That would do it anyway. Um, bowl. Uh, Iron ingot, 36. He's got a. No, he hasn't. Come on, let's just sell that iron ingot for him. Right, we'll sell that and 36 for the silver class. See what the market holder will give for us. And show me your goods. Will you buy that mead off me? Give me 11 for it. See what Bert will give me for it. Mead, 11. We'll just get rid of it. I've got one that's open. We'll keep that other one just in case. Uh, 35 for the silver clasp. Yeah, I'll do it. There's only like one gold difference. Get rid of that bowl as well. And a handful of amber, we'll get rid of that. Nice, right, so we've got 289 gold so far, not great. Um, he's selling. Could take an identification scroll just in case I do find anything. Ancient copper ring. Be health restoration and healing efficiency. Uh, brass ring, fumble chance minus two. I do need more of these actually. How much are you selling them for? 42. Well, I'll buy the healing cells off, yeah? And then. I think. Right, that'll do. Alright, loot. I could take this and then put in my stash. Not sure how much I'd actually get for that loot. I think it'd be a lot. We'll leave that for now. Okay, nice. So we're looking pretty good. I think what we'll do next. Um, got a ruins up there. We've got all the monastery. Also got a settlement up there. So we could go that way. Well, yeah, let's head, let's put a marker on that, and let's head up that direction. We'll go check that out, see what's up there. I'm getting a bit hungry as well. Hungry and thirsty. I eat. I've got roasted acorn. Right, let's quickly eat them roasted acorns. Um, let's take a drink from my huge bucket. Uh, we'll 
grab some blueberries as well. I might as well chow them down. One blueberry. Can do that. Yeah, we're over here. Let's go check it out. Uh, this is the Bastion of Jorma. So this is obviously going to be where the first one is. But if we can take as many out as I can, then I can go back, get the contract, and then there'll be less to kill then. Uh, let's go check it out. It should just be bandits. They should be pretty easy to kill as well. Got raspberries. Got we'll grab some raspberries while we're here. Shell down on them. Go, Bastion Jormus, nice, 124 XP for that as well, so there should be one person out there, yeah. The only, yeah, it's just the one, normally guards it, so that's fine. This dude of a club. Some of these poor go in as well. Boy, that um, agaric, ag 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 how do you say it? Agaric. Grab some of them just for pain. Go out with the pain if I do get hit. And oh no, there's another one. Yeah, he looks like he has got a two handed axe also. Yeah, so he's got a hooking chop as well. Probably not going to be as powerful as mine, so. Come on, step into me. Where are you going? There we go. Oh, let's chop him. Nice. And dismember him. Nice. There we go. What have we got? A lumberjack axe. Okay, so that's decent. Slashing damage is 24. Armor penetration is less. Armor damage is up on that one. Okay, that could be interesting to take with me. It's pretty between them and this one. Crit chance 1%. Stagger chance is 12%. Okay. I'll well, we'll take that. Get rid of that large mace. I don't want that. Well, he did hit me, so what's the damage? Of the... Let's see what's in this part. What we got then? A uh, bottle of oil. We've got an hourglass. Bucket and a mug. Oh, let's cook a fly agaric. Agaric. Nice, oh, so there's another one there. We'll cut that one as well. Before we go in. Uh, we've got a polycap there. Could cut that one as well. Oh, let's just go for it. Let's go. The centre. We'll see how we get on in here. If we have to leave, we have to leave. But. At least we've done a bit of a dungeon run. See what's in all of these. That's it, make loads of noise. Okay, some more bandits, that's fine. Alright, come on then. I love that. That's wicked that this member. Brutal. Oh, did he hit me? Yeah, he did. A little bit of damage to my torso. I'm getting hungry, so I'm going to have to eat something. What have we got? We've got a bit of bread. I'm going to have to eat that bread for now. I haven't actually got anything else to eat. I've got an onion and these uh, roasted flies, but apart from that, I haven't got any food. Which is a bit of a mistake. I should have bought some food, really. Oh, there's another one there. Come on, there. Come over to me. What else we got? We've got another one going over there. Nice. We've got some crowns there. Let's grab that. And he did do a bit of damage on me, to be fair. My left hand, what I'm going to do is, let's put the flea wart on that. 
out with the healing on that one. And let's wait for this guy to come over. We got there, a large club. Well, let's back off a little bit just to uh, get my half points up. Get him into this corridor. Let's do that just for the uh, the buff for battle rage. Get a lot more damage on. Did he have as well a cudgel? But look, damage, so my left hand's took a little bit of a batter in there. Um that's also good though. What we will do is let's rest. Heal up a little bit. Okay, nice. I'm just going to have to keep an eye on that left hand. I don't want that getting battered. Got any traps around? Can't see any. Oh, I might if I bash these, I'll be able to find a bit of a. Ooh, we've got some antitoxin there, nice. We find some food in these crates. Got straw, very good to me. In the cupboard. Oh, got some healing salve as well. Nice, definitely take that. There is someone in here as well. Let's take this one. There we go. Okay, so he has got, by the look of it, a fork. Yeah, so. Gotta get up close to him because he can hit me from a distance. So let's try and get him into this here and then hopefully I can bring him in. Can't reach him. Can he hit me from there? No, he'll have to move. Nice. So let's, if we keep him close. There we go, nice. Keep him nice and close just so he can't use that ability. Um, peasant pitch force pillar. What sort of damage does that do? 18. I could take that to throw at an enemy. And I have got more crossbow as well. Keep forgetting about. Oh, that left hand. Okay. Rest up. Get full health. Well, not quite full health. We're nearly there. I guess we've got another one there. He looks like he's got two handed uh, axe as well. He hasn't spotted me yet. There we go. Right, come on, follow me. Come into this corridor. Ooh, doing a bit of damage, he was. He got a lumberjack axe as well. Yeah, it's the same as that one. Conditions at N67, that one's 44 durability. Okay, I'll take these with me just so I can throw them at an enemy. Do a little bit more damage if I heal. So let's quickly rest up. That left hand's sort of healed up, it's just my right hand now. That's what I don't want to go, is my hands. Especially when I'm um, wielding a double, double handed axe. So we've got two up there, we've got one down there. And nice, a bit of rhubarb. Well, I'll eat that rhubarb now. I'm a bit thirsty, so let's have a quick drink. Oh, okay, there's two down there. Okay, he's got bow and arrow as well. Let's get down here. Well, let's try and. Get him around the corner. Let's put these war cry as well. I'll confuse him. Hopefully he wanders off. No, I want the other one to come my way. Let you come my way. Step back. Hit him up with that one. And then let's dismember. There we go. Nice. Then let's quickly. I could, could I throw these? Could I reach? Throw that. No, I can't reach for that one. What about this one? Ah, I still can't reach for that one. 
Yeah, uh, there's a copper ring as well. I'm gonna have to go towards him. I'm gonna have to go for it. Right, he's hit me, 11 damage. Move towards him, there we go. There we go. I was gonna say, he's not very powerful because he's wielding a bow, but it's just annoying that he's that far away. Oh, he did have a reinforced club as well. I don't want. Grab that copper ring. Of restoration and healing efficiency. Hmm. Hmm, it's not great. A quick look at the how far we're looking. So my pain's slightly gone up, it's 17%. The hand, uh, uh, the damage to my left leg there, my left hand and right hand are uh, starting to heal up. And hopefully, through this, I could get up another level actually. Right, let's quickly rest. And then there's like there's two more up there as well. Um, leaf shaped arrows. No, get rid of them, I've got the smaller ones. What have we got there? Peasant bow. See what's in here. What have we got? Oh, we've got a potato. Take that. Might stand. Five gold. Nice. Really top this water up as well. We'll have a drink. Let's well, cook what we cooked. A potato, nice. We've got a little roast potato or baked potato even. Now we're looking on hunger at 8%. Fine, oh, I'll leave that. And what we've got in there, we've got a beet. Uh, I'll tell you what, let's just eat that now. We'll take the beet as well. Got nails in there. Uh, we've got carrot, nice, we'll take the carrot as well. Uh, I just need to get rid of something. What should I get rid of? Oh, let's get rid of this axe, just to give me a bit more room. It's fine. I don't need to be carrying all that axe, all them axes round. Uh, nothing in there. Nightstand, nothing in there in this wardrobe, nothing. Uh, let's head up to this direction. I think there was two beyond there. Yeah, two. Okay, so who we got? Nice, so we've got an enforcer there. Wouldn't be too difficult. But then we have got Edmund the Tormentor, so he's the boss. So we go for it. That's what should we wait? We'll see how we get on. Um if we've got a run, I've got a run. So first things first. Move back, let's use the war cry. He should step in my direction. Move towards him, let's use this member on him. Okay. Oh, we are taking damage though, so let's have a quick look. Uh, pain's at 22%. Yeah, my torso, I'm bleeding, that's why. So should I have some bandages? Let's quickly use a bandage on my torso. There we go. Oh, let's head out this direction just to heal up. with the walk on as well, just confuse him a bit, just give me a bit of uh, a bit of time. Well, I should be able to throw this at him now, so let's throw this spear at him, two damage. Really throw this one as well. There we go, eight damage. So let's have a quick look at him inspect. So house at 90%. Should I use the let's use the hooking chop on him. Oh four. Four damage, no, 24 damage. Yeah, critical damage on him, nice. Is it 62%? I don't really want to run here, so let's use this member on him as well. And we hit him with what, 27 and then four half to the bleeding, so just in 31 damage on him. He's only on 16% health. Okay, we got this in the bag, there we go. One more hit, boom, he's dead. Then we've got a convict's hand, so that is part of the contract, which I haven't even took yet, so we'll have to take that. Hopefully, I've never actually done this before, they've actually took the contract, so hopefully that works. We'll see. Wouldn't be able to do it again. Um, we have got a purse though, so nice, we've got 31 into that one, let's quickly merge that with that one, there we go. 
281 gold, and he has got a, what was it, a reinforced war club. Definitely take that. 170, that sells for. Lumberjack axe. I'll take the lumberjack axe as well. Can't carry it though. Name. I wanted to take that, but this is probably better anyway because I've actually got the, uh, I've actually enchanted that oil. There we go, so that was a uh, first little mini boss done. Wasn't too bad to be fair. I thought it'd be a lot more powerful than that, but maybe maybe it's just me, maybe I'm more powerful. Lumberjack axe, well, let's have a little look round here then. Let's have a little loot. Shelf, nothing in there. Nightstand with some gold, we'll take that. And the barrel here, what radish, we'll take that. And we're looking on health wise, yeah, so we're pretty healed up. Our pain's gone anyway. We're looking pretty good. Got a leak, we'll take that one, that's fine. Uh, cupboard, nothing in there. Wardrobe, what we got? A piece of leather. Yeah, right, we'll take the leather. But look at the other wardrobe, nothing in there. Any loot? No. Okay, that's fair enough. All right, let's go and have a quick look around. We might as well finish this uh, dungeon off just to level up, to be fair. So we're nearly there. We're not far off from level four, we're getting another ability. So we might as well finish off the rest of the enemies. Yeah, let's take it. One crown. Nice. Right, I don't want to get complacent. Let's take that. Let's move him towards me. It is pretty it's simple, but any wrong move, then I'm a goner in this game, so I don't want to get too complacent. Large club. Well, he did a bit of damage to me then. You know what I mean? A left leg. Heal up. There's another box down there, so quickly see what's in here. What have we got? Gooseberry. Um I'm sure I don't need to eat six and eight now. Okay, let's get rid of the gooseberry, we don't need that. Anything in the cupboard? No, it's got some healing salve, so let's get rid of see that carrot and then we'll take them. Get the night stand out, nothing in there. One guy in there, he hasn't seen me yet. There we go, he's seen me. Oh, critical damage, 31. Nice. Dismember him, there we go, beautiful. Did he have another lumberjack axe? So if we loot these boxes. We've got an apple. Uh, should we take the apple? No, we're fine for now. We've got radish and all them, all sorts. Got some vegetables. Surely about to be some loot in here. Nightstand, nothing in there. Cupboard, nothing in there. Nothing in there. And, but we've got a chest. Nice, let's pick that chest. What have we got then? Ooh, no, identification scroll. Sweet. Browns 42, we've got them. Handful of amber, we'll definitely be taking them. So let's get rid of some stuff. Intoxication. Well, let's drop these. I will take the identification scroll. And what else shall we get rid of? Copper ring. Let's get rid of the copper ring. We'll take the 
I'll take the amber. Well, let's go, let's head back up. Let's go uh, west on here now, finish the rest of it. Are we looking XP wise? Yeah, nearly there. Just under 200 to go. And over this direction. That's it, nothing in there. Okay. Make sure there's no other rooms. Yeah, so that's it. Right, nice. So now I've actually got his arm. I should be able to complete that contract straight away. Oh no, there's another room here. Well, let's head this direction. Let's see what's around here. Probably pick that lock. Nothing. Bookshelf. Come on, have something decent for me. Oh, shield street is nice. Read that quickly. Nice. So we've learnt all of them. And what can I sell that for? Hundred. Take it with me to sell it. Right, let's get rid of that. We'll take it with us. And uh, what's in this one? Nothing. Okay. Nice. Let's get out of here. Let's head back to camp. And I uh, should be able to complete that contract. How are we looking food wise? Thirst 13. So, yeah, so I'm pretty healed up now. So I need, what, 104 more to get to the next level so let's hit the map and let's place a marker let's get back down, back down to town All right, so we're back at base, and should we sell that? 170. I don't think they're about, are they? They're in the tavern again. All right, let's quickly go and sleep. Oh, can I sleep? Has it been a week? I don't. Oh, let's have a look. Yes, yeah, so it's still in the same week. So we're doing all right, to be fair. All right, let's sleep till seven in the morning. Let's go and sell this war club. Have a quick drink first. And then identification scroll. Right, let's put this in here because I don't really want to identify that one. Should I? Should I use it? Tempting. Use it just to sell it. Hmm. We'll leave it for now. Might leave it just to um, use on something else. Right, show me all goods first, because I do need to buy some more food. I could do with some sausage, really. Sausage or smoked ham. Well, I suppose. Some... There we go. Buy some sausage. Uh, it gives us three use over that and it doesn't spoil, so that's pretty good. Let's go for it. Ah, let's go do some business. There we go, they will come out to work. Let's have a quick drink. Quickly top my bucket up. And let's see how much he'll give me for this war, war mace. Any goods. Uh, war club, even. Uh, four for that. No, that's nothing, so it's the carpenter. will probably give me more for that. Got anything else to sell? Mm, the book. Oh, that to the market guy. We could keep it for when I get into the, um, the other town. Speak to the carpenter first. Got 
38 for the war club. Yeah, we'll just sell it. Nice, 38 gold for that. And then, uh, should I sell these bolts? I don't really use them, to be fair. They're just there as backup. Got 20 of them anyway. I'm going to sell them just to get some money back. I'm full of amber. I need to sell that. I didn't really get any decent loot in that um, dungeon. Oh, what are you selling? Have you got new stock? Um, yeah, sure, I've got a lumberjack axe. Still energy costs 30. Axe is not a good. I'll stick with this. About steel signet control resistance and counter chance plus four. Got a footman belt. Out of chance plus five. Oh, amulet, don't need that. Okay, so what should he give me for that? So give me 23 gold for that. Well, let's sell that because I've already learned that. Piece of leather. I'm just going to sell that because I don't know. I could use that to be fair. I'll keep that and I'll use it. Let's sell the handful of amber for 18. And then what else shall I sell? Some brandy there, we've got some mead. Right, I'll stick with that I think. That'll do. So I've got 405 gold. And I will actually use this. Now let's apply this to what's durability on that? 61 and they are 70. So let's use it on my high boots. There we go, nice. What's the durability on this at the minute? I haven't even checked. It's 132. Fair enough. Yeah, that one's 15. I do need to um, repair them as well. Let's quickly sell this and give one gold for an empty purse, but freeze up some inventory space. Well, I've got a bit of money. I might as well repair some more goods. No, repair of it on this one, it's going to cost 31 gold for that. 132 of 150. Well, let's do it. Might as well. I need to do my armour as well, so let's go see the tailor smith. Let me do my armour, and then we're going to speak um, to the dude who's going to give me the contract. Alright, you, I'm not buying anything. I want you to fix my armour. That's fur vest, that's going to cost 11. We'll do that. We need a better one than that. Uh, Travelling cape, that's okay for now. 51 or 54, 78, that's fine. 66 and 70, okay. So they're all okay for now. And I don't think I've got enough to buy a decent one, have I? I've got a doublet there, which has got physical resistance, bleed resistance, and dodge chance. And then I'm losing the frost resistance, which I don't really need at the minute anyway. But then my bleed resistance does drop as well. But my physical resistance is up. Right, okay, I'm going to buy it. Right, let's go for it. Let's buy the doublet. That's fine. We'll sell you a fur vest. Just wasting my money on that then. Oh well. All right, nice. So we've got the doublet. That's fine. So that gives me a bit more uh, physical resistance. Bleed resistance dropped a little bit, but it's uh, all good. Let's have a quick look at our quests. Where are you? Uh, gather in the caravan, talk to the elder of Osbrook. Let's go and speak to him, and then I should be able to give him this hand then, the convict's hand. Should be that one done. Here he is, the elder out of Osbrook. There we go, complete your first contracts. There we go, so we've already done it without actually getting the contract, so you've done it without actually 
having a time limit, which is pretty good. So hand over more reward. YouTube's hand has been fulfilled. Excellent work, work, um, work. Here's your reward as promised. 100 gold for that. Is that it? Take that. Well, what's next? I've got the perfect job for your skills, not far from Osbrook. The place was captured by brigands. I don't plan to negotiate with them, but also can't force their hand. When I sent a few guards to scout, they confirmed that there indeed were five or six brigands on the brewery premises, so I need to go to the brewery now. I have no idea what happened to the place's owners. All dead, I suppose. Right, should we grass the uh, carpenter up? Yeah, let's tell him. I knew it. I mean, who else could it be? Yeah, we'll tell him. There we go. Nice. So we've got to reach the brewery. We've also got a contract here. I only have one contract, which is the stolen grimoire. And there is a bounty on the head of Azar the Imperishable heretic and necromancer apparently he stole some book from a nobleman in Brin, so now there's a manhunt so i could take that one or should i do the um should i do it yeah let's go for it right let's do the deal we might as well kill two birds when stolen so i need to kill the necromancer and find the grimoire let's do what he's selling nothing uh, let's ask him if he knows anything interesting. No, he doesn't. Okay. All right, so a couple of new quests. So we need to complete the second task now. And then we've got, also got to reach the brewery. We've also got contracts from the stolen uh, stolen grimoire. So head to the frowning vault, which I've already been in. I think that was the first one I went to in the last episode. And then I had to get out of there. But I'm a lot stronger now and I should be hitting another level. So we need to go kill that um, necromancer and it should give me 455 crowns. Let's put a look at the map. So there's the brewery and there is the frowning vault. I think that is the plan of action. I think I'm gonna leave that episode for here, guys. I appreciate you watching. Um, we're going to continue with the series on this, so episode three will be next. I think on the next episode, we'll probably head out into... We'll probably do this contract first because there is a time limit on it. We'll get that. We'll kill the Necromancer. We'll get the bot, bring it back to town. We'll get some gold, and then we'll carry on with the brewery quest line. But that is in the next episode. So I appreciate you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did like it, drop us a like, drop us a sub all that business I really appreciate it. it really helps the channel out and i will see you in the next one